אתם ניצבים היום כולכם לפני השם אלוקיכם, ראשיכם, שבטיכם, זקניכם ושודריכם, כל איש ישראל. טפכם, נשיכם וגרך לו אשר בקרב מחנך, מחוטי ויצך עד שואב מימך. You are all standing here today before Hashem, your God, the heads of your tribes, your elders, your officers, every member of the Jewish people, your children, your wives, convert that is in your midst, from the wood choppers to the water carriers. With these famous words, Moshe Rabbeinu addresses the people for the last time. His 40 year career is coming to an end and he speaks to the Jewish people. He shares with him, shares with them wisdom for the ages. One of the striking phrases in this address is the phrase that appears at the very beginning, Atem Nitzavim, you are standing. It's connected to the word Matseva, monument, which is something that stands erect hopefully for all time. But we are not Nitzavim. Malachim are Nitzavim. Malachim stand. That is to say that they are stagnant, that they don't move, that they don't have potential. Human beings, by contrast, are Mahalchim. We go. We have the opportunity every moment of life to ascend in greatness, or heaven forbid, to descend, depending on our thoughts and our actions. Why then does Moshe Rabbeinu choose to address the people and say, Atem Nitzavim, you are standing. Surely Moshe Rabbeinu did not want the Jewish people to be in a standing position for all time. Rabbi Feinstein notes an aspect of this Pasuk. That qualifies why Moshe Rabbeinu here chose to address the Jewish people as standing. Namely, yes, it is true that the Jewish people have opportunity to grow and to grow and to grow and to grow. That's the gift of being placed on this earth. That is why angels are not greater than people because they don't have the opportunity to grow. However, it is important for every Jew to understand and to feel, no matter his or her station in life, whether one is a great leader or whether one is not, that we are all standing in the presence of Hashem. In a healthy relationship, parents love each and every one of their children. No, children, no child is more important Every child is truly beloved. And it is incumbent upon us, especially as we enter into Rosh Hashanah, to recognize and to feel that we are each and every one of us special in the eyes of Hashem. That each one of us is His child. That each one of us is standing in His presence no less, no greater than any other member of the Jewish people. This therefore reminds us that one should never look at someone else and say, I am greater than him or her. I am superior. Let each and every one of us remember that we are all equal in the eyes of Hashem. Important to be mindful of this, this time of year. Let us also, though, remember that we are standing in the presence of Hashem. How fortunate we are to be standing in front of Hashem. And we have to act as children of God. And as we approach Hashem and we say, Zachreinu l'chayim, remember us for life, something that we will cry out over Rosh Hashanah coming soon. We too have to live, and we too have to be careful to make sure that others are able to live. 
The pandemic we are living through is very far from over. There is much that we don't know. We have seen that even in our own community, there are members who have been afflicted with this terrible disease. And now more than ever, we need to be vigilant. We need to be sensitive to others who are standing in the presence of Hashem. Some people are stricter than others, but definitely there are those who when they walk down the street are careful to wear masks. They want others to wear masks. Be sensitive to it. Even if it's not something that you subscribe to, there's no reason to see elderly people or immunocompromised people who are wearing masks have to cross to the other side of the street because younger people are not sensitive. There is no reason for people to go to large gatherings without wearing masks, without physically distancing from others. Doing those things potentially puts others at risk. Let's remember all those who are standing in the presence of Hashem. Let us be sensitive to them. Let us show a deep regard for their lives so that Hashem will show a deep regard for ours. May indeed be a year of life, of health, of happiness, a year in which we ultimately are able to celebrate together as once we were accustomed to, and ultimately let us be able to celebrate in the ultimate Geula, may it come, Bimher Amen.